Now, let's move to algebra offsets or operations offsets. The first one is union. So the union of two sets A and B is a new set symbolized by A, sometimes it's called cup B, consisting of all elements that are in a set A or in a set B. So by definition, A union B equals all axes such that x is in A or x is in B. That's the algebraic definition, if you will. For instance, say we have set A containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set B 2, 4, 6. So let's find union, A union B. So it's going to be all elements from A and all elements for B. We want to just put them in the same basket. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we'll just join them. Now, when it comes to Venn diagram, so let's represent the, this operation, the union. So say we have universal set U, two sets A and B. So for union, it's going to be this part. So this shaded part, A and B, that's the union. The second one is going to be intersection. So in the intersection of two sets A and B, symbolized by A intersect B, so the inverse of the cap symbol, so it's called cap, consisting of all elements that belong to a set A and a set B, so common to both sets, that's vitally important. For instance, say we have set A containing the elements A, B, and C, and D, and B containing B, C, and E. So we're looking for the common part, the elements, the part that belong to both A and B. So it's going to be only two elements, B and C, and by definition, a intersect B is going to be all axes. X is in A and X belongs to B. When it comes to Venn diagram, so the common, the overlapping part of these two sets, it's going to be the intersection. Now, disjoint sets. So if A intersect B is an empty set, then A and B are called disjoint sets. So when it comes to Venn diagram, there is no overlapping common part in these two sets. For instance, say we have set A containing 1, 2, 3 and set B containing 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then obviously there is disjoint set since there are no common elements, no same elements. Now the third one is going to be difference of two sets. So the difference of two sets A and B is a set denoted by A backslash or A just minus B consisting of all elements in a set A but not in a set B. For instance, say we have set A and set B. So A minus B is going to be two elements 2 and 4 since the elements 2 and 4 they, they are in a set A but they do not belong to set B. So A minus B sometimes it's called it has only two elements, two and four. So they do not again belong to B. So that's why they go to the difference. And the formal definition is A difference B is all X is such that X is from A and X does not belong to B. So this shaded part on the Venn diagram is representing the difference. The next one is going to be the complement of a set. Let U be a universe and A is a subset of U. Then the complement of a set A is generally denoted by, and we say A prime, so A kind of apostrophe, is a set of those elements which are in U but not in A. So A apostrophe equals by definition all axes from U, but axes are not from A. For instance, suppose U to be 0, 1, 2, all the way up to 7, and A is a subset, 2, 4, 6. So then the complement of A is going to be the set consisting of the following elements. So 0, 1, 3, 5, 7. So again, the inner set U, these elements, but they do not belong to set A. So in other words, it's going to be difference actually between U and A. So 0, 1, the elements, it's going to be 3 also, 5 from U, but these elements not from A. 
So we pronounce it A prime or sometimes A dashed. So when it comes to Venn diagram to represent the complement, so all part outside of the set A actually, that's going to be the complement. So this red shaded part. So again, it's outer part, the part which is outside of A. There are some problems to carry out.